Welcome, Leo. This is going to be your October love reading. Um, let's jump right in. Okay, what is this Ten of Rings? This is absolutely beautiful. You guys, this is a big sign that accomplishments, abundance is coming your way. Okay, when it has to do with stability, long-term wealth, relationships, families, anything. Yeah, we have the Dawn of Swords. There's like gaining more information. Could be somebody wanting more information or you getting more information about something we do have the lovers here with the ten of cups in the reverse now what i'm seeing here with that ten of cups in the reverse is after seeing all this this is beautiful the ten of cups is feeling like there's a disconnect when it comes to love or struggling to communicate with someone or feeling detached right so there's like certain things in your life that you felt that was pictured very differently maybe didn't go as planned but i do see here with this ten of rings this page of swords something's about to change all this is about to change for you the lovers is about alignment harmony soulmates you know higher level of commitment too um it, it's absolutely beautiful we do have the queen of cups and the chariot the challenge is the Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups is in the past, a very strong connection. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Hierophant, Six of Cups. Definitely somebody maybe from the past, but we're gonna go ahead and clarify. There's definitely a, a lot of disappointment when it comes to like feeling like someone's not equal give and take here, like it doesn't feel like somebody's fair in a situation, but we're gonna go ahead and get straight to the clarifications for you, Leo. Six of Swords. Four of Swords. Okay, let's keep going before I explain what all this is. The world. Looks like you're clo you closed out somebody here. Yeah, you ended something. Pretty much. It looks like you went into a different direction and now you're over it. So it may be something very new coming in, something, but this here, whatever's coming towards you here, something was not aligned with your path. Didn't feel like it was aligned. Um, the world is saying there's completion. You had a lot of emotions. You're very intuitive. You must felt an energy shift in some way. And now you're closing out a chapter and what's coming towards you. I feel like you're just leaving something behind with that six of swords, just pretty much over a situation and going on to something that is coming in something new. Now the eight of cups is coming in, in the reverse. So this may be closed for you, but for somebody here in the challenge, it's hard to let go. They may be overthinking and second guessing a lot of things right now. Um, it is a very strong connection. Looks like a lot of attraction. Things may have happened really quickly with this energy or just feeling like, you know, things have happened really fast. Um, that could either be good or bad. But let's see. Let's get this star. This is more in somebody's mind. Eight of Wands. Someone wants to communicate with you, but whatever they're promising and with the Page of Pentacles, whatever's being communicated to you, like a message, it is kind of saying this Page of Pentacles has a tendency to break promises or not follow through with things and can be um, and can switch a lot. Okay, so that's the little warning I'm getting there, which I don't feel it's little. I feel like it's pretty big. We do have judgment. Somebody does want a second chance with you. I feel like it's this person. So Leo, even though you closed out this chapter or you're seeing this as the world is closing, someone has not fully have let go. I do feel whatever, somebody's very curious on like what you're doing. They could be curious on your success, but whatever this is with the lovers, there is a choice, but something here in the near future is saying, hey, is this aligned with my past? You know, this is you being very true to yourself here. Yeah, it's judgment after. Uh, so this is somebody here that that you feel or someone that you had a like a lot of differences with. OK, like a very strong connection, but something that now feels like it's going was going wrong. Um, a struggle within a family dynamic, a connection of some way. So it does feel like somebody is wanting that second chance. In the near future, it is showing a bit of evaluating. Okay, so it does look like somebody is coming in, or maybe I've already came in. But the Nine of Pentacles is now taking a taking kind of like, okay, let me see about the situation. Let me remember about the situation. Do I really want this person back in my life do i really want to try for this connection and due to the seven of pentacles it's like you have these pentacles that i feel that are being planted here and they are growing and manifesting and something here with that ten of rings is is like um 
like something is great is coming in for you or you're maintaining this success that you already have. Uh, but when this is the nine of pentacles is in the reverse, this is reevaluating. Re like, is this aligned for me? Is this something that I want in my life? You know, and from the looks of it, it feels like you're starting to see that somebody still is not taking accountability for certain things that they've done. So a lot of you guys, yes, there looks like there's attraction, there's somebody coming in, maybe starting things up again or talking to an individual and you're starting to see, well, they still don't take accountability. They're still being the same person from the last, from what, like, from, you know, whenever you d d disconnected from them. It shows, I mean, this could either be somebody that you're just like talking to briefly, but you're still feeling maybe some things within the situation that just doesn't fit. Okay. And in the outcome it is stating is that you're feeling a bit unsatisfied and you're choosing happiness. And I do feel like whatever happened in the past or whatever is happening here with the justice card, it's like things still feel unfair, still feel one-sided, you know? And that's why I feel like there is a choice and you are letting people into your life that you feel that is aligned. There's no more time for drama or bullshit or anything like that. Like you're seeing the truth on what you want. Okay, and uh, and if you do give it another try, you are going to see if this person is has, you know, changed a bit or really will follow through with what they say. But when it's in the reverse, that's more of a warning. You might see a pattern with an energy here. But I'm telling you here, with or without this person, you have that Ten of Pentacles and you're on the right path. Uh, maybe just seeing, needing to see it one more time or three more times. Who knows? But it's not going to stop what's meant for you. Okay. Beautiful. I really, I feel like this is more of a warning of something that you're closing out. Somebody's wanting <clears throat> to come back in. Could be an air sign. I'm seeing a strong air sign here. It doesn't have to be. But I am seeing the Page of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Um, but definitely a lot of like somebody wanting to communicate. Let's see what they have to say. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. The stress from this is draining me. I see your side of the story. Okay, well, this is their messages to you. Maybe there was something that they said and then didn't and then went back on it or maybe that's what their indecisive type of energy but let's get more into the love oracles here all right that could be their ego yeah reconciliation definitely somebody wanting to come back in your life but the only thing is they're wanting a second chance they're wanting to get back together because they miss you but there is something still they're hiding they're still hiding behind a mass, a false mass, sorry, um, hidden motives, disguise, and lying. And the music is here, which is saying, hey, watch out. I mean, there's a snake charmer here, possibly. Maybe somebody that you're interested, in, who's interested in music, or worse, Converse, or has a silver watch and a guitar. I mean, I don't know. It could be vice versa, male or female, doesn't matter. I wouldn't get caught up on the genders. But it just seems like somebody here, you know, is just kind of showing that they're wearing a false mask to you all right guys but this person does want a second chance and i feel like you are reevaluating in the future and will make the best choice for you okay i do see that all right let's see what spirit Ooh, hello spirit is saying stop playing small you are the universe in a static motion courage moving forward making progress actions so take action then it says seeing like the birds don't seeing like the birds not worrying about what others think be yourself share your heart speak your truth it's always works can't go wrong speaking your truth you know but when we have somebody not speaking the truth it's like 
it's, it's very obvious with that justice card in the reverse. It's basically saying that someone is not wanting to do the right thing. They maybe act like they want to restore things with you and resolve some issues, but who they are, it's showing a mask. And I feel like that is something that they're needing to work on, right? But it just feels like somebody is being dishonest, okay? It does. Um, and they want to come back. But whatever is coming in the near future, you will see it. You will see if this message is for you. Or you'll feel it. Or you'll know who I'm talking to. You'll know who I'm... You'll know how this is resonating with you. I feel a lot of you guys already know who this is. Full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. And last quarter moon in Cancer. Take a breather. All right. And then, of course, my love messages. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times you must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope this helped. I really did. And if it did uh, help in any way, if I said a different sign or calling you a different sign, I apologize for that. But this is Leo. Okay, Leo's reading. Um <laughs> But if you do like this message, message and it, or if it helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.